Hello and thank you for joining me in my cooking channel Czech Cookbook. Today I prepared for you something very special and many of you have asked me about this recipe. So finally today is the day that I'll be showing you how to make rohliki. Uh, this is a bread roll uh, in Czech very very popular. If you go to any grocery store small or big they will have these special bread rolls. Uh, they're amazing just to eat with butter and people buy it fresh every day. It's one of the staples since as long as I remember we always had rohliki. So we can try to say rohliki. It's the R is a little hard. <laughs> uh, it's very tasty, uh, amazing. You can put it as a sandwich, you can cut it and fill it with ham, cheese or as I say our favorite is just with butter. Uh, I've been working on a rohiki recipe for many, many years and I have so many different versions and I'm finally happy with this one. The taste is amazing. It's a little, uh, not as fluffy, so you feel like you, you get more, more of it and you feel more full than the fluffy bread roll. And so let's start with the recipe and I hope you are as excited as I am because this is so good. Uh, we, we will need one and one fourth of a cup of water. We will warm it up. Uh, then we need one teaspoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoon yeast, and then we have three and one fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, and two tablespoons of butter that needs to be melted. So let's start with the recipe. First we will need to prepare our yeast mixture. So you will need to warm up water and here we have one and one fourth of a cup of water. I will put it uh, in the bowl where my yeast will be rising. So this way I can warm it up already in the bowl and I'll put it in the microwave for one minute. You have to make sure that it's not hot uh, because otherwise it will kill the yeast. So I usually put the pinky in to test the temperature and it needs to be lukewarm. So for me, one minute was perfect. Now we will add one teaspoon of sugar and one and a half teaspoon of dry yeast. One and a half. And now I like to stir it so the sugar can dissolve. Just like that. And now let's set up the timer for 10 minutes because we will need 10 minutes for this to start to activate. Uh, while we are waiting for our yeast mixture to be activated, we can already prepare our other ingredients into this bowl or you can use your stand-up kitchen aid mixer if you have one. Uh, so I have here two tablespoons of butter. Uh, we will need to melt it, so I just put it in a microwave and melt it. So I have the butter melted and I set it aside. Uh, now let's put three and one fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour in a bowl. Add two teaspoons of salt. Mix it. And now we will have to wait for our yeast mixture to be done. So 10 minutes are done and I have here uh, the yeast mixture nicely bubbled up. So let's add it to our flour and salt mix. And uh, now I have here melted two tablespoons of butter. So let's just add it. And now we'll mix it all together. I usually start with the wooden spoon and then I'll put my hands in it. Okay, I just washed my hands so they're clean. So now let's go for it. You just try to connect everything into one ball. A little bit needed also. And I try to scrape the flour from the sides. <laughs> and you want it to be a little bit sticky because that helps us to roll the rolls. But I think this is a little too much sticky, so I'll add a little more flour. So if it's too sticky, just add a little more flour. Stick it 
still sticky a little bit, but that's what we need. Uh, now let's sprinkle some flour on top and we will let it rise for half an hour. Okay, that's good. Now I will cover it up with this beautiful towel that I got in Czech Republic, kitchen towel, and now we will let it rest for 30 minutes and I have to wash my hands. <laughs> Because it is rising just half an hour, the dough doesn't get as large, but this is fine because we will have to let it rise second time when the rolls are done. So now let's put it on a board and start working on the rolls. I have here a baking tray and I put on top a baking paper, so make sure to do that and we will just need one. Uh, so you can set it aside and we will be putting our bread rolls on top. Now we will need to sprinkle flour and I put a little bit in a corner so then I can use it as needed. Now this dough will make eight bread rolls. Uh, if you want them to be similar looking, you can put the whole thing on a scale and then you know divide it by eight and then have eight same pieces. But this is too much work for me. So I'm not going to do that, I will just guess, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I will try to divide it in half. And now each half into half again. And now into another half so we have eight. Some of them will be a little bigger, but that's okay. Let's take one and we will be doing uh, like a long, long one. And like I said, it's good if it's a little sticky because it helps it to roll. So it does not spring back, but it sticks to the board. And you are rolling it and try to press and spread. Just like that. If it's a little too sticky, put more, more flour on the bottom. And now I will roll it a little bit like that. And now you have the bread roll. And now I'll put it on a baking tray. One in Czech is called rohlík. Uh, I said rohlíky because it's plural. So one, I just, I just made one rohlík. Flour up the board, uh, the, the rolling pin. Right. And now this is the sticky part, so I'll just put it like this. Now we are rolling, 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 pressing, spraying. And if it sticks like that, you just scrape it and that's it. Let's roll this. Ta da, another one. So the eight bread rolls are done and as you see I started with these, these are already, already rising and then we have the smaller ones because I did not uh, cut it perfectly and now you want to cover it up with the towel and let it rise for 40 minutes. So we have about 13 minutes till the rising process is done and I recommend to preheat the oven to 400 20 degrees right now before this is done and they are already looking nice because it takes a while for the oven to be preheated so 420 Fahrenheit 40 minutes timer is done and here we have the rohliki and right now you will need to spray it a bit water so I have this small spray bottle if you don't have this you can just brush it with water but this is very handy because when we take it out of the oven we will still also need to spray it. So I will just spray it now. That's good. 
And now we will bake it in the middle of the oven and in my oven it takes 20 minutes, 420 Fahrenheit. Uh, so just make sure to check it maybe after 15 minutes and just keep looking at it so you know how your oven bakes. So let's put these in. 20 minutes are done and let's pull them out of the oven. Here they are and we have to spray them. Should give them nicer shine, but not too much so they don't, they, they still stay crunchy. So here are amazing bread rolls and now we will have to transfer them to a rack so they can rest and don't get soggy underneath. So I'll do that right now. Here they are, they are on a wire rack so they can rest and uh, just not get wet like I said. And it's amazing, the smell is just incredible. Uh, they cracked a little bit, some of them, but that's okay uh, because I think the house is a little colder so they didn't have a chance to rise completely. But who cares, right? They will be eaten no matter what. Uh, but they are so oh, crunchy right now, the top is just crispy. And I wanted to tell you before I take a bite, uh, I wanted to tell you that next day uh, they will not be as crispy and they will be a little like um, harder so what I do I put them in a toaster oven or if you have just regular toaster and then they become crispy and even three days later if you if you do that they taste like fresh from the oven and it's incredible uh, so I hope you try it and let's go for this I'll take some smaller one oh, just with the butter just like that and I hope you, maybe you will hear the crispiness. Mmm, that's so good. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a nice little roll inside, and the taste is just incredible. I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and now you can finally bake your own rohli cake. Um, and if you try it, let me know. And you can even post a picture on Facebook. I would love to see. Uh, so I wish you a great day and be well, everybody. Bye.